Did you wonder what's at the bottom of the river? Well, nothing. Lots and lots of nothing. If you think that cars in a car game are overrated, say no more. It's going to increase difficulty at the same time. If this is still too easy, I recommend the uh, where am I going mode. They thought that hiding a barn in the middle of the jungle is going to stop me. Who is laughing now? Maybe you're tired of driving and flying is more of your thing, there's an option for that too.
I don't recommend anybody doing to your game what I did to mine and I definitely wouldn't go into an online session with all those settings, with all those changes but if you still want to try I'll give you a very fast guide how to do it but remember I'm not responsible for anything that could happen actually I don't really expect anyone to do this so it's going to be a very fast explanation there's tons more things to go through but to do it properly I'd probably need another video but if for some reason there is going to be enough people wanting an in-depth guide I might make something okay let's get to the point first you have to locate your game like your game where it's installed usually you install it into your steam library steam apps commons would be for the 5 and media first we go into library and first pack up the files you're about to delete or edit the easiest way to back up would be like we're going to do something here just make a new folder copy everything in there done a copy made so we're going to delete everything except shaders if you were to delete shaders that's going to disable all the cars like the cars you're actually driving and the AI drivers after this we are going to general scene go oh yeah you probably want some kind of a program to open zip files I'd say 7-zip it's free and good enough so once you have that installed you probably can do it with a normal zip like the windows zip and just open this instead of extracting just open it so we open this file we go no we don't go anywhere we delete shaders we delete shaders okay and again remember before deleting back up the file okay, now another file swatch bins go into swatch bins tracks and delete the entire folder Hendrix deleted again back up everything before you do this now we go into library delete everything particles same delete everything go into tracks Hendrix open the bin.zip file go into shaders and here are like explain a bit more but still like very fast uh, if you go into the file 0x0000 zero, 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 whatever 28 and delete the first file in it uber water shader bin this one file this is going to remove water from the world like rivers and lakes sea is still there but any other body of water will just disappear as it will dry out next one will be 20 again remove the first file that's enough like you could remove everything but first file is enough Ter mega shader bin that's going to remove all the terrain not the roads just the terrain like the rock ground dirt the roads are still going to be around in 16 if you remove this that's going to remove all the roads after 16 we can go to 14 if you remove this it's going to remove all the vegetation from grass all the way up to big trees but on big trees it's only going to remove the leaves and same with big bushes there are still going to be sticks sticking out of the ground and so you can see where the trees are and the big bushes are and the big cacti are still going to be around just very low quality 
if you want to completely remove trees and those small bushes in the cacti, you go into first scene and remove the first file again. And for the first guide, that kinda would be it. But if for some reason you want to delete literally the entire world, you just want to float midair. Well, you want you don't float because the hitboxes are still there, so you actually drive on the invisible ground. Just remove this entire bin.zip zip file. And again, I can't stress it enough. Back up every single file. You're going to edit slash delete. So if you delete this, it's going to remove everything. Well, except your cars. Like your cars, like I said previously, you have to delete in media library shaders. If you delete this, that deletes the cars. That's all. And again, I don't recommend anyone to do this.